we must go deeper. Fifth gear. The cone thing, synchronizer ring. cone part where the synchronizer squashes against four lugs go in to the four lugs four holes like so two guide ring things please note that there is one there and there is a different style there. When viewing from above, these need to be the same. Then that slots over like so. But we need to get the rings on. These guide ring things. So looking from above, you see there's two holes. One and two, one hole being closer to the edge than the other, please note. So, if you see from above, this goes in this hole, and on this one goes in the other hole there, if you see. So, we remove, we get the bottom one, and we have to put that on, like so. Making sure that it goes underneath and slots over that indentation in the middle like that, you see, and then that one goes there, like that. And then when you squash it together, that one goes there like that. And then we have to place this one exactly the same over the top ring with them and over there and I'll show you that like that you see that over the sections but when you squeeze them together they all line up but please note how important it is to get that in the right place because and there's that one there in the right place because that lines up like I said to those two holes that I pointed out before to lock them in which I'll show you now so they are both lined up. You see how they float in that middle section. And if you look in there, there's that hole. And there's the one in that hole. And then they move as that turns. Keeps that in. And this synchronizer ring moves down onto that cone to slow it down to match the speed of this gear.